welcome guys um, in this video I would like to quickly show you how to add an order form to your WordPress website or to your sales page some of you are interested in um, selling physical products or any product there about maybe your imported shoes maybe your facial serum beauty products health product or whatever it is that you are selling online that you want people to order for by filling a form this is a stepped up way or an advanced way of selling online and it has a lot of benefits when it comes to online marketing you can track how many people actually buy your product track how many people applied to buy or filled the form to buy but did not eventually pay for it or did they eventually take the order and so on and so forth as against asking people to call you or asking people to send you sms or whatsapp message I am not saying those ones are not good too and I'm not saying everybody must sell via a website what I'm trying to say is that when you are ready to step up your game those other ones are a good way are good ways to start but when you start and you are, you are your business is developing when you have two three four five websites like some of us you don't want to be taking orders manually you want to take it automatically so that you can go back to your email and check how many orders you have and then start fulfilling your Others. Let me give you an example of what I mean. For example, if you visit one of my business pages online where I sell um, facial serum, if you visit it, here is it. Let me show you www.beauty, excuse me, beautyandelegance.com.ag. If you visit it, I have uh, an order form that people fill. To buy what I sell and it is easy even in the if somebody is seeing my adverts in the middle of the night they can make an order when I wake up I will just see the order and I'll start fulfilling it that one is better than them trying to send me a, an SMS or trying to call me to make an order or send me you know so this how do you create this kind of form on your sales page let us assume you are the owner of this sales page and what you are selling is ladies and bags or diabetes herbs um, herbal product or anything anything that you're selling how do you create an order form so what do you do you come here click on plugin and click on add new the plugin we used for this purpose is called is called wp forms wp forms this is this is it i i know this icon very well it is called wp Forms. so just click on install now when it finishes installing then we activate just the same the normal way of out of installing a plugin on your wordpress website but yeah so we can go ahead and activate it now and then go to work with it so this is our plugin and if you check here this has been added wp forms has been added so what you want to do is you want to add new you want to create a new form you name your form call it any name we are let us move ahead go ahead with the instagram business we are pulling so let us assume that we now have an instagram book ad cover book that we are actually shipping to people which is an ad cover book so just come here and give it a name so i already Wrote something like that before so it brought it for me instagram millennial book if you don't want to name it that one just name it give it any name instagram instagram success book so just give it any name you want call it instagram success book then there are templates you can use but this time around let me show you how to create it from scratch so you get a blank form and you can label your blank form as you like so what are the fields that you want to add you can add single line paragraph text drop down check boxes multiple choices numbers name and email so like in this place now I can say tell me your name if I want it this way fine first name last name then again I want to add this one too then this name I want it to be required I want it to be compulsory everybody must give me their first name and last name then single line this one I want it to be maybe email address and I would, it will not be compulsory because it is not everybody that is buying online that has an email address so i call it email address and 
it is not compulsory. I think address is double D. It is not compulsory. Then again, I want single line text again. This time around, I call it phone number. Phone number. And it is compulsory. I want it to be compulsory. Then instead of coming here to choose what you want, sorry, here to choose what you want, you can actually duplicate whatever you want you have here. If it is similar to what you're having next, just duplicate. Then change the name to phone number, say full address. Some courier requires require you to actually put local government. So you can tell them including local government area. Whatever you want to write, just put it there. Then what else do you want? Ask them when you want it to be delivered. When do you want it delivered? Let them tell you the dates. Because people are funny. Some of them will tell you that, oh, today is, say, 10th. But then, can you deliver it on the 28th? So you will think, if you do not ask them this question, you will think they need it instantly and you will send it. They will tell you they don't have the money yet. So be careful. Yeah. You can also change let's go back you can also change this um, submit button where is it you can call it order now instead of submit just call it order now or place your order place your order or submit your order call it whatever you like then when you are true with the with the um, form just come to setup oh, sorry come to settings general now what is your the name has already come form name instagram success name submit your order so when they click submit your order what we will, sh will show sending submit button says we don't do all that then come to notifications so how do you want to receive notification do you want to be receiving email no email notification if you don't want click off but no it should be on so which email do you want to use to receive your email put your email there let me say my email is plan b bids at gmail.com that's the email. if you want another email maybe you want to add the, a staff of yours and the name of the staff is ibrahim tiamiu just put ibrahim tiamiu at whatever whatever email dot com so that is that about that the new instagram success when what email subject are you going to receive for you to know let me give you an example in my in my own case in my beauty and elegancy this is how i receive the email new facial serum order so i like to have the word order there so that i will know this is sensible this is money so i call it instead of entry i change it to order new instagram success book order then from my blog is where it is coming from from email the admin email i will have you choose i will have chosen the people's email but like i told you it is not everywhere that has an email reply to i'm not replying i'm just getting the so if somebody now fills the form and they send an e and they have an email i can copy the email and send them an email to ask them questions about the order then confirmation type after submitting where are they going to go next which message do you want them to see thanks for contacting us we'll be in touch with you shortly you can edit this and write whatever you want thanks for thank you for ordering then you can put whatever you want to put if you don't want to put this you can set direct them to a page to a url just put the url here let me give you an example here. When people click this submit your order on this my website, they land here. They automatically go here. Um, beauty slash be thank you page. They, they automatically land here where I say thank you. Your order has been received. We will contact you. The blah 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 questions. This, which is nice. So you can do the same thing. You can create a page like this. Just copy the link of that page. Ctrl P, come here, drop the link here. When you click save, anybody that land that orders 
will be directed to this particular page. If you don't have time to create such page, just maintain the one they have given you. If you also want to redirect those who order from your page to any other page on your website, just so when you click show page, it will prompt this and all the pages on your site will come. Choose the one if you want to send them to your own page, to your gram ebook. This is the I think this is the sales page. No, this is the opt-in page, this is the sales page, contact me page. Wherever you want to direct them, direct them there. So when you finish, all these ones are for paid. Uh, people will buy the the plugin. This plugin has free and paid. Free, they give you access to a little um, part. Paid, they give you access to everything. You don't need. If you want to buy the paid, go and buy it. But the free version is just enough for what we need. Click save and close. Then there will be a code that will be generated for you. So I already created this one uh, before while doing something else. So this one is the one you just created, the Instagram success book. So you come here and copy this code. This code is the code you now go and put on your, on your page. So how do you add the form to your, to your page, to your sales page so that the form can show? The way you do it is you come here, you drag this short code place order, put it where you want the form to show, click on it, click on the edit button, then remove what is there. Just control P or paste the code we copied from this place. This code that we copied from here. Just place it here and click save. Let us go and check our page. See the page. We do not have anything like a form here. But a form is going to appear here now once we refresh it. And another thing I would like to tell you that when somebody fills this form and they click submit your order, you will receive an email in whatever email you put there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how to fill, this is how to create an order form on your sales page. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.